I grew up here, I went to school here in Moraba, and we were talking about that old train from from here, Moraba, to Port Edlin. My grandfather sang the song about the old train, and my mother sang it then afterwards. Your name is? Topsy Basilty. Good, thank you. It's a num. Are you ready now? Yes, what are you going to sing? Nyamal song, I'm going to sing train. Good. Train, my father's song. Larry Brown, my father. Singing train from Morel to Marble Park. In 1964, Topsy Fezzeldine recorded her father Larry Brown's Nyamal language song about the old Port Headland to Marble Bar train. Language speakers have worked with researchers to translate the song into both Nyamal and English so it can be seen and heard. So, Jodi Mile Bala, that's three mile. One Kuka, that's on, on the rock, isn't it? Yeah, it's sort of the rise to Oh, there's a rise, like a hill, a rocky. Yeah. My name is Ellis Mitchell. I am a Nyamal person. I'm a yeah, Nyamal country, mobile by just around the corner. I've been travelling up and down to Marble Bar, Port Adelaide, to go visiting. The race is time at Marble Bar, the race is time to Port Adelaide. I've been on a train once when I was a little girl. My mother had to go to Portland Hospital for a theatre Tuesday. That's the time I, I remember riding that tra uh, train. And I go to Shore River. It used to be a Shore River tank. It's the place train used to pull up and uh, fill the water to Port Edland. Ngala is on the coast, then Nyamal up the river from the Degray. So they um sort of neighbours, sort of neighbours. They, they are neighbours, Ngala and Nyamal. So my mum, my dad's a Ngala and my mum's a Nyamal. What my grandmother used to sing, yeah, yeah, she used to sing um, songs like that. Going flat out, down hill, to the river at Bidimara, through the Wongo Wongo Hill. I think what the project represented for us was um, a standard, it's a benchmark in terms of, you know, what goes into telling the story. And when you look around and you see the exhibition, you see that it, you know, combines a traditional song. We've got sound in there, we've got singing in there, you know, we've got art in there, we've got storytelling in there, and we've got, um, you know, people's memories captured in a project that is really, you know, it's a legacy that people leave behind. The story and journey of the train song is both fascinating and alive. Uh, it's an example of Australian history, language and culture from an Indigenous perspective, from our people's perspective and this community in particular. It's powerful again as a way to provide the general public with a window into Indigenous histories told in song. And this exhibition with all its multi parts is a great exemplar for um, encountering, allowing people to encounter Indigenous culture. Um, it is my great pleasure on behalf of the IATSIS Council and all of us here to declare Singing in the Train officially open. <laughs> And that is all along the, the oh, travel from... Nah, from Bar. From? In Carlandy. Mm. 30 miles from Marble Bar. Mm -hmm. And it's all in, in Yamal. Yamal, proper song.